I know that by making this video to many, I might sound religious, crazy, extreme, but I just believe we are living in a season and time and today in America, in the world, we must share the gospel at all costs. Now is the time for California. Wherever California goes, the entire world will Guys, welcome back to the channel. So excited that you're here. Listen, I wanna dive right in because the reality is if you are a believer in Jesus, we are commanded to go to the ends of the earth by Jesus to share the gospel. And you know, as I was kind of thinking about making this video, what really gripped me is so many Christians have never shared the gospel. There's a stat that says 97% of Christians have never led somebody to Jesus in their entire lives. And I want to flip the script on evangelism. And I believe that our generation is burning for God and is saying, God, here am I, send me. And so I really wanted to share this quick scripture um, that I think is going to just empower you even more to share the gospel. And so it actually comes right here. I'm out of Mark 5. Jesus heals a man. And after he heals the man, the, the man asks him, he said, Jesus, I, he begs him, I want to go with you. But listen to Jesus' response. He says, no, go home to your family and tell them everything the Lord has done for you and how merciful he has been. So the man started off to visit the towns of his region and began to proclaim the great things Jesus had done for him. Number one, Jesus, Jesus's way of ministry looks a little bit different than ours sometimes. This guy just got healed from a demon <laughs> and Jesus tells him, go share the gospel. Obviously, he just got saved. He, he, hadn't, he didn't have any training, no equipping, no discipleship. I'm for those things. I'm all about those things. I tell people to do those things. But the point I'm trying to make here is regardless if you've been a Christian for one day or 10 years, God is calling you to share share the gospel. And for some of you, that might be sharing your testimony. For some of you, that might be sharing what God has done for you, what he's teaching you. And for many of us and all of us, it's to share the good news about Jesus. You know, and a second scripture that I want to hop into is obviously here in the Great Commission. So I just want to pop over here real quick. And I, I just believe this is so essential, so valuable because how, like Romans 10 actually says, how will they know unless somebody tells them? And how will somebody tell them unless they are sent? And, and, and it's just like, oh, it's really on my heart. As you can tell, this is a raw video. It, like, I don't just, I don't want to just make cute videos. I want to see the power of God move. And I want to see something stirred in your heart, just like the Holy Spirit is stirred in mine. And so here we are in the Great Commission. Jesus says, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptize in the name of the, name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And so we see Jesus telling the disciples, telling us, to go and make disciples. And the first thing we must do to make disciples is they have to be saved. They must know the gospel. They must know the good news of Jesus. And something else I want to point out here is the last uh, part of the scripture. Jesus says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. And you know, something Bill Johnson says is, with impossible assignments <laughs> comes the presence of God. And Jesus is saying, this sounds like an impossible thing, right? To make disciples of all nations, to baptize them, to teach them. It sounds so impossible to see that happen in our generation. But Jesus says, I am with you always, even to the end. So I want to encourage you, regardless of where you're at, these impossible assignments that seem impossible, too big, too hard, Jesus, the Father, Holy Spirit are with you are with me. And, you know, I actually feel Holy Spirit telling me to go to Romans 10 real quick. And I want to go there because I, I just quoted that scripture. And this is Paul talking about, you know, salvation is for everyone. And he says right here, he says, how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they've never heard about him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? And how will anyone go and tell them without being sent? That is why the scriptures say, how beautiful are the feet of messengers <laughs> who bring good news. And so I want to encourage you, challenge you, stir you. If you've never shared the gospel and you want to learn how to do it, comment right here. Shoot me a message. I would love to give you practicals and tips on how to share the gospel. Because in the last two years, I've only had one person tell me no to the gospel. People are hungry for love, hungry for truth, identity, hungry to know God. And how will they know him unless we go, unless we tell them, unless we are sent? So I hope this encourages you hope this challenges you as always before you go make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm so excited to build more family and community here on youtube and i hope you have a great rest of your day